it's been a little while. Let me get into the frame properly. It's been a little while, but we're back. And today's prompt is we suffer more in our mind than in real life. All right, let it marinate, let it land, let it marinate. I feel like this is so true in the sense that most of the things that we go through, we kind of conjure in our mind. So most of the anxiety that we go through. So let's say like something, so let's say you're worried about a test that you have to do. We're already mentally gone through that suffering multiple times in our mind before the test actually happens. And let's say even if you do badly, you've already gone through the test in your mind so you're going through it again like you're going through the same event happening twice like most of the suffering we come comes from just imagining bad things happening in our mind but like okay i've, I've spoken about what happens but like how do we combat that Ugh, much easier said than done because i still suffer with this on a day-to-day -day. like you kind of have to go with the it is what it is type of attitude like things out of your control you have to firm it like Things okay, things you were born with that weren't so advantageous, you have to just firm it. Like you can't control it, there's no point worrying about it. Um quick little intermission i don't promote my stuff enough i've got a website which you can get a free training plan and gives you a couple of emails detailing things like progressive overload what things to include in your diet and why you might not be seeing any progress and i've got like a eight week training plan also on that website as well if you want everything fitness wise that i speak about condensed into like a 10 page document that helps you bulk successfully and gain muscle i don't promote myself enough if you want to support what i'm doing if you like what i do take a look at the website but anyways back to what you came to watch events that happen that are going to happen in the future you have no clue about how things are going to happen so you just have to firm it and do what you can and see the outcome especially with tests and stuff like even it sounds bad but even if i do badly in the test like even if i revise a lot for the test i can't be like i i'm gonna i'm gonna do so well like i'm only like entitled to the amount of work i could put in the outcome is just it's up to it's up to whatever happens in it like of course, I'm still going to feel bummed out because oh, I haven't done specifically well, like particularly well in a test. But I know that I put in the work behind it. And the, the reason I've done bad in a test is not down to my just lack of competence and lack of like laziness or laziness. It's more just like, OK, maybe the strategy I used was wrong rather than me just being an incompetent individual. You get what I mean? Um, another thing that I was, I was thinking about, it's a kind of side tangent, is that like, because I make these videos, obviously, and uh, there's people in the story that see them. Um, when I speak to people, like, in person, or, like, when I meet people, I don't usually speak about most of these concepts that I talk about on these videos, unless someone brings it up, obviously, and I can go, like, on a ramble for days about it. But it's a bit weird, because let's say I meet someone that has watched these videos, they know this, like, side of me, where I'm just rambling, talking about, like, these kind of concepts, this the gym kind of stuff. But if you just meet me randomly, like... I don't really speak about that and sometimes it's a bit like strange because people know me more than I know them um, and they feel closer to me that I, than I feel closer to them and it's, a, it's a bit of, it's an interesting vibe I don't think it's necessarily bad it's just an interesting that I've clocked um, and again like I don't know why like I I don't even think it's a bad thing as well the fact that I don't like go into like side tangents about philosophy and the hedonistic adaptations of our mind anytime I speak to a random person because I feel like that will be a bit overwhelming but I just don't really speak about that unless I'm like unless the topic gets brought up for example and then I can speak about it but yeah like if like when I just meet someone I just come off as like because one thing as well I'll speak to my friend about it, like my insta like it just makes it portrays me as such like a pure like only like a gym lad that that only he eats, sleeps, breathes, gym, and he's a completely one-dimensional person. And I completely get that, to be fair. That's the perception that maybe my, like, socials might portray. But even if you meet me as well, like, I won't speak about gym unless it's brought up. You know what I mean? Like, I'm not going to be like, oh, you should go gym all the time. Like, maybe on socials I might have that. I might present that. But in person, I'm more like, just do your thing, man. Like, do your thing. Um, again, I find that interesting. But again, let's go back to the, the, the initial prompt that we had. Uh, focusing, we suffer more in our mind than in person. So like, to conclude, to be fair, like just kind of have or develop that it is what it is attitude. Like removing so much emotion from the outcome. Like you can invest, I think that's where we suffer the most, when we invest so much emotion that we feel like the outcome is like do or die. Like, of course, you should be invested in the outcome of things, but don't base maybe your, like, self-worth or, like, your 
ability or your your happiness on something happening if that makes sense like although i've kind of developed it over time i'm still i don't know necessarily how that it's come about i think it's just like loki i think it's just going through like so many failures in a sense that like it becomes diminishing at a point so <laughs> that sounds so sad uh but like going through things bad things that have happened um and then the feeling of just sadness just doesn't like it just diminishes over time because sometimes it happens so frequently that like i'm like oh it, it kind of is what it is like i'm not trying to be like i'm some depressed guy but i've just firmed certain things that have happened and it's not and it's made me into like a a person where like okay i'll get sad yeah but like it's for an evening and i know the next day i'm good you get what i mean i think that like maybe maybe that's the thing facing rejection more often because if you're only winning and you encounter like one failure or like you one things about bad that's gonna happen you think about it in your mind of course it's gonna be more like pertinent than something but more pertinent to a person like that than a person that's like i right, yeah I, I do work still but i do take l still so like I, it is what it is i think exposing yourself to more failure not like um willingly because that's just dumb you get what i mean like not going into something like knowing you're gonna fail but maybe putting yourself in putting yourself in a scenario where like failure could happen like putting yourself in an uncomfortable scenario where you don't know if you're gonna win or fail i think that's what you getting yourself out of your comfort zone will, will certainly help with that for me it did like um just doing things that like i wouldn't normally do speaking to people that i wouldn't normally speak to like starting things like this that i wouldn't normally do like you know what i mean it's put me into a place where i'm like yeah i still want to succeed obviously but like if i don't i'm like eh, okay cool what are we working on next time like although sometimes like it could it does take a shot to my self-esteem like when i do feel sometimes but this times it's like so small compared to like before like when i was much younger like anytime let's say i do get rejected by a goal or something i like i'm like i am not good enough i am not like worthy of this or i do like i spend like hours on the video and it gets like five views i'm like nah man i'm just not good enough now it's like i right, cool maybe my approach is wrong maybe like the strategy I've used is wrong. Let's readjust and try again. You get what I mean? But yeah, short kind of... I don't know how long this is. I could say it's short, but I could be rambling on for like five, ten minutes. But more maybe to the point type of video and that side tangent about like people knowing me more than I know myself is pretty interesting. But yeah, I need to do more of these often. Like I only do once like once every one and a half weeks or two weeks. These could be done like every three, four days. But I need to pattern up and get that done. But yeah, man uh that's all i have to say uh stay safe i mean actually you know what topics topics i want to speak about i too fair one thing i need to do i need to get a pod the podcast back because i could do videos like this i could be speaking like i can have someone sit right here and i could just be speaking to them about all these concepts and it'll be just be blessed um so yeah that could be coming back soon engineering is looking all right at the moment like of course i'm busy like i've got a lot of coursework and deadlines that i have to attend to but I'm not I'm not dying in it like that's what that's what came that's what I expected when I signed up for this course so uh it's I at the moment I'm still being able to produce content like this and edit and do all my things so and also competition in less than seven days I don't know why they speak about that it's like a like a so in this competition I'm performing it as like a guest so like I'm not even like ranked or anything this is just a competition to get like the experience of like being at a competition and get a total dial so if i want to qualify for another competition somewhere else i have like a total ready that's like maybe the reason that i'm not too stressed about it if that makes sense of course i still don't want to do badly like i'm not like i don't have a certain like criteria that i need to hit i just have like a i just like okay pull up just don't flop and then i'm pretty good and then for the next competition when i do get coached and other things like that it's gonna be a lot more serious with like the prep and stuff but yeah all right that's that's it man i'm i'm out i'm good man i got some systems to do but we leave all right cool take care i do that thing all the time so i just like randomly focus 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 i just like slap do that that's like a 10 so I have, oh that's crazy man <laughs>